Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Kung gusto mong mag-advanced learning sa inyong mga topics from first quarter hanggang fourth quarter, feel free to visit our playlist. Kompleto lahat yon. Okay? Let's get started! So, good day everyone. Nandito na tayo sa learning task number 3. Find the equation of the line. In slope-intercept form, y is equal to mx plus b. In standard form, ax plus by equals c. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung learning task number 1 at number 2, i-click nyo na lang dito sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Kasi katulad lang din siya nitong learning task number 3. Ang kaibahan nga lang, naka-sentence form itong mga given. I-analyze lang natin yung given. So, dito muna tayo sa number 1. Ano yung given? The slope is 5 daw. So, ang slope natin is 5. And then, passing through negative 1, positive 4. So, meron tayong given na slope at saka point. ba kapag ganito yung given, ang gagamitin natin ay yung tinatawag na point slope form. Ano yung formula niya ulit? That is, y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. So, ito yung x sub 1 natin, ito yung y sub 1. By substitution, y minus ang y sub 1 is 4 is equal to, ang slope natin is 5 times x minus ang x sub 1 is negative 1. Then, simplify y minus 4 is equal to 5 times x magiging positive 1. And then, i-distribute natin yung 5 dito sa loob ng parenthesis. So, that is y minus 4 is equal to 5 times x equals 5x. And 5 times 1 is equal to positive 5. Then, ilipat natin si negative 4 magiging positive 4. Then, y is equal to 5x. 5 plus 4 is equal to positive 9. So, ito na yung slope intercept form ng number 1. Ngayon, para naman makuha natin yung standard form, ang kailangan natin gawin, ilipat lang natin yung 5x dito sa kabila, magiging negative 5x, and then kopyahin yung positive y is equal to 9. Pero, ang kailangan natin is yung positive leading term. Pero not necessary naman na positive palagi. So, i-multiply natin ng negative 1 para maging positive siya. Negative 1 times negative 5x equals 5x. Negative 1 times positive y equals negative y is equal to negative 1 times 9 is equal to negative 9. Okay? So, ito na yung standard form ng number 1. ba Madali lang naman pala siya. Ngayon, proceed naman tayo dito sa number 2. The line passes through point. Positive 3, negative 4, negative 2, positive 2. So, meron tayong dalawang given na points. That is positive 3, negative 4, and negative 2. Palitan ko ito ng 3 ha, para sagutan ninyo yung nasa module ninyo. Para matuto kayong mag-solve. Ang gagamitin naman natin dito is the 2-point form. 2-point form. Ang formula ng 2-point form ay y minus y sub 1 is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times x minus x sub 1. So, i-identify natin yung mga given. Ito yung x sub 1, ito yung y sub 1, ito yung x sub 2, y sub 2. By substitution, that is y minus ang y sub 1 natin is negative 4 is equal to y sub 2 is positive 3 
minus ang y sub 1, negative 4, over ang x sub 2 natin is negative 2, minus ang x sub 1 is 3, times x minus ang x sub 1 is 3. Alright? Then, simplify y. Negative times negative 4 equals positive 4 is equal to magiging 3. Negative times negative 4 equals positive 4 over negative 2 minus 3. Pareho sila ng sign, so add. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 and then copy the sign negative. So, negative 5 times x minus 3. Then, isimplify natin. y plus 4 is equal to 3 plus 4 equals 7 over negative 5 times x minus 3. And then, i-distribute natin yung 7 over negative 5 dito. So, magiging negative 7 over 5 x. And then, multiply din natin dito. Magiging 7 over negative 5 times negative 3 is equal to positive 21 over 5. And then, transpose natin si positive 4, magiging negative 4 na siya. Matitira yung y dito. Alright? So, pwede natin isimplify ito. y is equal to negative 7 over 5x. Itaas ko muna dito. So, 21 over 5 minus 4. Lagyan natin ng denominator na 1 para ma-add natin or ma-subtract natin. Ang LCD ng 5 at 1 is 5. 5 divided by 5 equals 1 times 21 equals 21. 5 divided by 1 equals 5 times 4 equals 20. Is equal to 21 minus 20 is equal to 1 over 5. So, yung answer niya ilalagay natin dito. That is positive 1 over 5. So, ito na yung slope-intercept form. Okay? Ngayon, i-transform natin siya sa kanyang standard form. So, ang gagawin natin, ilipat natin si negative 7 over 5x sa kabila magiging positive 7 over 5x. Then, kopihin yung y is equal to 1 over 5. So, pwede namang ito yung answer pero kailangan nating isimplify. I-multiply natin ng 5 para matanggal yung denominator ni 7. I-multiply natin ng 5. So, 7 over 5x times 5 is equal to 7x na lang siya. And then, 5 times y is equal to positive 5y is equal to 1 fifth times 5 is equal to 1 kasi makakancel ito. So, ito na yung standard form ng number 2. Okay? So, ito yung slope-intercept form at ito naman yung standard form. Nakuha ninyo? Now, let us proceed naman sa number 3. The slope is 3 fourth. So, ang slope daw natin is 3 fourth. And then, ang y-intercept natin is 0, positive 4. So, b is equal to y-intercept is 0, 4. Ibig sabihin, ang y-intercept natin is 4. Okay, so madali lang kapag ganito yung given kasi meron na tayong slope, meron ng y-intercept. Diba, ang slope-intercept form natin is y is equal to mx plus b. Just simply plug in the values, that is y is equal to, ang slope natin is 3 over 4x plus, ang y-intercept natin is 4. So, ito na yung slope intercept form. Ngayon, kunin naman natin yung kanyang standard form. Ilipat natin. So ito yung slope intercept form. Ilipat natin si 3/4x sa kabila, magche-change ng sign magiging negative 3/4x. Then kopyahin yung positive y is equal to positive 4. Kagaya nga ng sinabi ko kanina, kailangan whole number dapat yung value ng a dito at positive. So, ang gagawin natin, i-multiply natin siya ng negative 4 para makancel yung negative at saka yung 4. So, negative 4 times negative 3 over 4x is equal to positive 3x na siya. And then, negative 4 times y is equal to negative 4y. Negative 4 times 4 is equal to negative 16. So, ito na yung standard form ng number 3. Okay? So, madali lang kapag ganyan yung given. 
Then, number 4, we have, ang x-intercept daw niya is, or yung a niya is, negative 3. And then, yung y-intercept naman is, positive 6. Diba, pag ganito yung given, meron din tayong ginagamit na formula. And that is, y is equal to, negative b over a, x plus b. Then, i-plug in lang natin yung mga values. So, that is y is equal to negative, ang b natin is 6 over, ang a natin is negative 3, x plus, ang b natin is 6. Nasundan ninyo? And then, simplify natin, negative times 6 over negative 3 is equal to positive 2. Kasi 6 over negative 3 is negative 2 times negative, magiging positive. Then, kopyahin yung x plus 6. Okay? So, ito na yung slope-intercept form natin. Ngayon, para makuha natin yung standard form, ilipat natin si 2x sa kabila, magiging negative 2x, then kopyahin yung positive y is equal to positive 6. So, i-multiply natin ng negative 1 para maging positive yung leading term. Negative 2x times negative 1 equals 2x. Positive y times negative 1 equals negative y is equal to 6 times negative 1 is equal to negative 6. So, ito na yung standard form equation. Lastly, sa number 5, passing through the points negative 1, negative 2, positive 5, positive 3. At dahil nga itinuro ko na dito sa number 2 kung paano isolve yung passing through points na two-point form, ito yung gagamitin ninyong formula. I-comment nyo nga sa baba kung ano yung makukuha ninyong sagot para malaman ng iba kung tama yung nakuha ninyong sagot. Okay? So, yun lamang sana nakatulong ito sa inyo. At kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please like at mag-comment na rin sa baba. Don't forget to subscribe at pakishare nyo na rin sa mga classmates ninyo. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aaral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!